Hi and welcome back, as promised. Things that are keeping my body skin healthy and happy in lockdown. Some new, some classics, some sort of tweaked new packaging, which I quite like. So last week, obviously I did facial new products launched during lockdown. Some of these are new. And the two things I want to start off by talking about are two new body self tans. Now, the reason I like these body self tans is I'm not particularly a fan, as you know, of heavy, gunky, occlusive creams. I don't like to sleep in things that feel sticky and uncomfortable. And I've got two brand new body self tans that are super lightweight. Think of them as like tanning serums. The first one is the Vita Liberata Fabulous Self Tanning Mist. Now, when I did my IGTV with the lovely Joe Good, and we were talking about her love of the slow build saint which is an absolute classic, it's an amazing product. That slow build daily moisturizer that has a very low level of the DHA in it, the dihydroxyacetone, which is the tanning sugar that basically turns the top dead layers of skin um, the brown colour. And she loves that. And she said she really likes to use it because she uses a daily body lotion anyway. And she just likes to basically completely top up. I think she just come, where had she just come back from? She just come back from Safari. She wanted to keep her tan going. And I was saying, I love that idea. However, at the moment I'm testing and trying and I lifted up my legs and showed her my brown legs. I'm testing and trying these new spray on almost like water type self tanners. And this was the one I tried. So if you go back to the IGTV, I'll put the link down below. You can see the effect on my leg. Amazing. This is Vita Liberata Self Tanning Mist. And it's it it's literally like a water. And I went to um, visit the people who represent Vita Liberata. And I was spraying it left, right and center. And they said, I mean, you want a mitt? I was like, no, I'll be fine. Hence the fact I have brown hands. You, you either need to spray it on really quickly, rub it in, and then wash your hands straight away because once it dries in, and this dries quickly, it dries in under five minutes, then you're not gonna be washing it off. So in a way, it's for very skilled self-tanners or people like me that like super lightweight waters. So what you would do, what I would do, is I would have a shower when my skin was slightly damp, I'd spray it on my legs, spray it on my arms, spray it on my chest and decollete. If you want to use it on your face, you need to spray it into your hands and then dab it over your face and then wash your hands really quickly because it dries. Beautiful, natural, I mean, you know I love Vita Liberata. It's one of my all-time favorite tanning brands. Really nice, natural color. It's got a slightly biscuity scent, not when you first apply it, but after a while when it starts to develop. That is the DHA, that sort of stale digestive scent, but I mean, it washed off and the color lasted at least a week after a single application. Uh, we all know that Tan Lux launched Super Hydrator, their hyaluronic acid based face serum, and now they have hyaluronic self tan serum for the body. And how gorgeous is this packaging? This is Super Glow Body, and rather than this being a mist, let me show you what this is like actually. And I need to be careful where I spray it because it is super powerful. So, this is the Vita Liberata. See, it's literally a mist. This is not a mist, this is a, a serum. So it's more hydrating than, I can't resist just say, I want to have one brown arm. Uh, it is more hydrating than the mist, but only in the way that you'd compare an essence to a serum. It's such a lovely product, it really is. I'm going to do both arms so I can match them up. And then I'm gonna pause this video because I'm gonna go and wash my hands. Otherwise I will end up with um, brown palms. This is for everybody that likes uh, super lightweight. This is the equivalent of a hyaluronic acid serum, but with a hint of DHA for your body. Both of them, thumbs up. This summer when it gets warmer and you're not going to want to apply sticky, heavy, occlusive emollient self tans, those two are gonna be winners, absolute winners. Both give the most beautiful, gentle hint of, um, a really natural color, really beautiful, really lovely. Now, look at this attractive <laughs> monster here. That actually is a mosquito bite, um, and I knew because it itched straight away. And I slept a couple of nights, it was warmer earlier this week in, in the UK, in London. I slept a couple of nights with my window open. And actually, at one point, I left it window open during the day, closed it, and still the mosquito got in during the day. Anyway, I want to introduce you to my favorite way of protecting your skin in the UK. 
I say this because when I travel abroad and I go anywhere tropical, I need to properly deet it up. And I do know that I once applied deet to a beautiful pair of sandals and it took the pattern off the sandals. I mean, it's tough stuff. I mean, it's better obviously than being bitten by mosquitoes, but it's tough on your skin. So this is Avon Skin So Soft. It's a real cult product. In America, everybody knows that this product uh, helps ward off mozzies. I'm not sure I'd trust it in an environment where there is, you know, a malaria risk and super heavy mozzies. But in the UK, if you just want to keep bugs and buzzies off your skin, it's a really great one. This is the original packaging. So this is Avon Skin So Soft. And the active ingredient, it's a really nice weight, lightweight dry oil, but the active ingredient is citronella oil, which is linked to citronella, which, you know, if you go to places like Bali and Thailand, they use it all the time. They burn it in all the temples to keep the bugs at bay. But I really love this vintage looking packaging that they've really released for this summer. So that is Avon Skin So Soft, super lightweight. It's been made since 1961. They've barely changed the formulation. It works and it's a pleasure to use. You know, it's got in and a linen lule, but it's got citronelle oil. And that's the active ingredient, the fragrance in it that they discovered by accident, because they put it in because it smells nice, that it actually does keep bugs off your skin. Perfect for the UK in spring, summer. Just talking about bugs is making me itch. Look at that. Um, I'm not sure I would put that on my face, but I would certainly put it up over my neck and chest and maybe even spray a little bit on my pillow. That would be enough to keep the bugs at bay in the UK. However, let's go back to fake tan. What happens if you do mess up your fake tan? <laughs> Haven't we all done that? This is Tanologist Glycolic Tan Eraser. I was on, in fact, uh, lovely Lorna Lux was applying some self tan and had, and had got it all between her fingers. And she was doing her faith, uh, daily skincare routine with her Dr. Dennis Gross pads. And I went into her DM straight away and I said, if that Dr. Dennis Gross pad is still damp, get it between your fingers because it'll help erase your self tan. She went, oh my God, that's a brilliant idea. Well, it wasn't necessarily my idea because tan erasers traditionally have glycolic acid in them. This is a glycolic acid based tan eraser. So what you do, is you can actually use it as a primer as well. In other words, you can use it as, as an exfoliant. So it comes out in a mousse like that. And it's just got a low level of glycolic acid in that you can then wipe over. And not only does it, it sort of wipe off anything you might have left on your hands if you're uh, tanning and you don't get the chance to wash your hands, which obviously I didn't do as you'll notice. Um, I always think that my job is to test things for you anyway. So the foam actually um, comes purely from the pump action. Um, it's one of those really clever, clever erating foam heads. And then you wipe it over like that, do it between your fingers and stuff like that. But more importantly, if you wake up the next morning and you've got any mistakes, any smears, then obviously what glycolic actually does is it, it temporarily lightens it, but in the long term, it just encourages that area to shed more quickly so that you get rid of the dead skin cells. It's a really, really, really lovely product. Super lightweight, easy to use. I like the fact that it's in a foam. You can control it if you get a specific sort of streak somewhere, but basically the active ingredient is glycolic acid in it. It's glycolic acid in um, uh, water and urea, and the urea obviously a natural moisturising factor, super hydrating as well, so it's not too dehydrating. I've got two other things. We're all looking at nice ways to wash our hands at the moment, and when I was in the Dermalogica store the other day, oh, I came across this, it was in the loo. Um, and I had to go upstairs and get it straight away. It's their conditioning body wash, but you can use it on your hands and it's super lightweight, super gentle, smells amazing. And I highly recommend it in place of hand washes. I did an IGTV talking about how to look after your hands. It's obviously we're all washing them far more than normal and normally with antibac gels or antibac washes or something like that. Uh, and it's a normal 20 second rule to kill all viruses. And I was saying there are, there are two things you can do to make that process easier on your hands. Uh, step away from solid soaps if they are really dehydrating your hands. I mean, yes, you can use Dove or Simple, something unscented, and, and Dove is obviously super fatted. Uh, but you can then use body washes. It doesn't necessarily have to be a hand wash. Hand washes normally have slightly higher levels of detergents. So a body wash is a nice way to do it. So this is the Dermalogica Conditioning Body Wash, and it's got uh, eucalyptus and lavender in it. So it smells heavenly. I obviously love the smell of all those Dermalogica spa body products, but that's a really nice one to use. The other thing to do, I was saying, is to use a CeraVe hydrating gel wash, uh, which I've talked about all the time. It's 
super reasonably priced. The whole family can use it from head to toe, but at this time you can use it on your hands as well. It foams just enough to fulfill the, the idea that what you use on your hands has to foam, but not enough that it will strip your hands. And if you do have dry skin, then I'm currently loving the Aetoderm SOS spray from Bioderma. Do you remember when I did a video with Jo Jones and she said that her husband used the, which one did he use, the Neutrogena one? Well, I didn't know Bioderma had one and Bioderma have got a really, really, really lovely one. And what, again, you see, I love lightweight formulations. What's nice about this is it's literally an aerosol. It's super cooling, super hydrating. You can rub it in or leave it to dry. It's beautiful if you look down and suddenly see your legs or arms are dry or even your feet at this time of year when you're, you know, the weather's finally nicer and you're sort of beginning to expose bits of sort of winter weather worn skin. It's a really, really nice one. It's it's just, a, it's a lovely, lovely, lovely lightweight hydrating product, but because it's in a mist, if you're stuck outside and your skin is feeling really dry or dehydrated or overheated, it's a nice one to use. Um, and finally, I'm going to give you a little budget tip for lockdown beauty. Now is the time to do all the things that we should be doing that we forget to do. I, for one, am looking after my feet. And that means I'm using um, a nightly foot cream and I'm sleeping in little cotton socks to keep that foot cream in place because I can't get to my normal manicurist or pedicurist. And when I go to my pedicurist, I have a scalpel on my feet to get rid of the hard skin, which instantly leaves your skin looking amazing, but in the long term, encourages your skin to build up more dead skin cells. So in the long term, it's not a good thing to do. It's a little bit like trimming your cuticles, really should only push them back and moisturize them. So if I can't go and see a podiatrist for the better part of, it'll be three months at least, and I was already overdue, so it will be at least five months between my first and last appointment. What I will do is I will put on a foot cream every single night, and I am using Flexitol Heal Balm and it's incredible. I've been using it about six or seven nights now and sleeping in little cotton socks. It's making such a difference. But what you need to do is you need to remember to file your feet in between because what will do what happens is the active ingredients get in, all the natural moisturizing factors get in. It softens the dry and dehydrated skin as you sleep. But then next time you have a shower, you up of that dead skin cells and you need to file it away. So don't forget to file it in between every time you have a shower. But what I'm next going to do is this. You've heard of Footner, which is the acid, feel, uh, acid peeling foot socks. Well, Superdrug have got an amazing dupe. It's called their foot peeling sock. It's so reasonably priced. Um, this is one pair up to a UK size 13, so guys can use them too. But have you noticed that guys don't have as much hard skin on their feet because A, they don't wear sandals so much and high um, heels but also they tend to wear socks all the time, whereas we wear a lot of sandals. And do you know that even those flippy socks, uh, sandals that flip up the back of the heel, they can damage and dehydrate the, the heel at the back and cause it to split. Anyway, these are amazing. And what I wanted to say was, who would like to see an Instagram of me using these? And then the results. They're one of those things, they're really high levels of acids. Wherever the little booty sits, it will, uh, get the acid into the skin and then you kind of forget that you've done it and you sit there three or four days later you think well that didn't work what a load of rubbish I want my money back and then suddenly you wake up and your feet are peeling off in sheets it's not a pretty sight but I think it might make quite a good video would it be like the equivalent of pimple popper anyway so that is my budget buy for the body in lockdown. Really, really, really brilliant. So these ones you can uh, cut to fit, so you don't have to have them on the top of your feet if you don't want to, but most people just sort of put them in. You can even put your trainers on. And you leave them on for 60 to 90 minutes and rinse off with water. You may appear, appear you may experience a slight tingling. <laughs> I love a slight tingling. Um, and then they start to peel after three to five days um, and your fin will ski, and then your feet will feel smoother, softer, and visibly healthier after two weeks. Trust me, they work. That is, without a doubt, my budget body lockdown beauty buy of the week. So there you go. Uh, you will appear smoother, softer, tanned, with lovely feet, nicely hydrated hands, but more importantly, you won't get bitten by insects. Look at that one right there, like a cyclops in the middle of my forehead. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'm not being sent a lot of products at the moment, obviously, because most PRs are in lockdown as well. But I will try to bring you the best in beauty throughout this. We're in this together.